Northern Idaho looks like this and Southern Idaho looks like this. Which one is gonna be best for you? Hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about living in Idaho, then subscribe below and tap the notification so you can be the first to know about the current market here in Idaho. My name's Craig Flood with the Living in Idaho team and we get calls, texts, and emails every day from people relocating to Idaho. And if you're looking for somebody to help you in your transition, be sure to give me a text, shoot me a call. Be sure to give me a call, shoot me a text, or drop me an email and I would love to be your guide. Today, we're gonna be comparing Northern Idaho to Southern Idaho. There's such a big difference between the two. We'll talk about the geography, the climate, the population, We'll talk about home prices. And at the very end too, I'll just quickly mention airports in case travel is gonna be a part of your life. So first let's talk about the geography. Northern Idaho is located in the panhandle of the state with the borders of Montana to the east and Washington to the west and of course Canada at the top. Southern Idaho on the other hand of course is located at the southern part of the state opposite the panhandle up north and shares a border with Oregon, Nevada, Utah, and Wyoming. In terms of climate, Northern Idaho tends to have a cooler and wetter climate compared to Southern Idaho. This is because it's located in the Pacific Northwest. I originally am from the Seattle area, and if anybody's familiar with the Pacific Northwest, it is beautiful in the summertime and super rainy, dreary, cloudy in the wintertime. With Northern Idaho, instead of it being so rainy, it's really just tons of snow, so just think lots of shoveling and lots of winter driving conditions. Southern Southern Idaho, on the other hand, has a more drier and arid climate. When it comes to population, Northern Idaho is gonna be more sparsely populated in comparison to Southern Idaho. And if we're gonna compare the largest cities, that's gonna be Coeur d'Alene, which population is roughly 55,000. Southern Idaho, on the other hand, is home to the state's largest city, which is gonna be Boise. And I'll just slip this in right here. If, if you watch these videos and you hear me say Boise, just know I'm saying it wrong. It should be said Boise, Boise, B-O-Y, like a boy sees, not boy Z. But for whatever reason, I can't do it. So let the haters leave the comments that I'm pronouncing Boise wrong. I know I am, and I've just come to terms with it. Boise? Boise. To Boise. So Boise has a population of 237,000, which is drastically different than what you're seeing up in Coeur d'Alene. Let's talk about the biggest difference that you would notice, as you saw from the beginning of the film, between Northern Idaho and Southern Idaho. Northern Idaho is gonna have the mountains. Northern Idaho is home to the Selkirk Mountains and the Cabinet Mountains, which provide great opportunities for outdoor recreation like hiking, mountain biking, and skiing. Southern Idaho, on the other hand, is mostly flat and known for its agricultural industry. Now I get Southern Idaho is not Northern Idaho, but there still are things to do here. And with a little bit of drive time, you can get to the mountains, but it's not like what you're gonna see in Northern Idaho. The way that the mountains intersect with all the lakes and the landscape is just stunning. And you don't have that in that way in Southern Idaho. So despite those two main differences, Northern Idaho and Southern Idaho are both great in terms of their beauty and activities that they offer. For example, like Northern Idaho has the mountains, they have beautiful lakes and the forest. While Southern Idaho has hot springs and tons of public land and reservoirs. So overall, both Northern and Southern Idaho have their own unique features and offerings for everyone. Uh, but whether you prefer the cooler, wetter climate of the North or the dry, more arid climate of the South, Idaho does have something for everyone. Let's talk about home prices. Just to go broad, I'll focus on Coeur d'Alene and Boise. Boise, I gotta work on that. Oh, oh. Boise. Boise! Do you guys ever have something that you try to, you try to kick and you're just like, I don't even know how to change the way I say Boise. Anyways, let's get back to it. So the medium home price in Northern Idaho in the city of Coeur d'Alene is roughly 499,000. Now let's compare that to Boise. So the medium home price in Boise is 470,000. And these are prices from November, 2022, just to put that in context. Now let's talk about the airport. Say you're somebody who's moving here and you have family all across the US and you wanna travel to them often, or you have work that you need to travel 
before, or maybe you're working remotely and being close to an airport is really important to you. If you live up in Northern Idaho, say in Coeur d'Alene, you're gonna have about a 45 to 40 minute drive across the border to Washington to Spokane Airport. Now let's compare that to Southern Idaho to Boise. If you live in Boise and you need to get to the airport, Boise has its own airport. So if you were in the heart of downtown traveling to the Boise airport, you're gonna be traveling 12 minutes. So there you have it. There is your comparison of Northern Idaho versus Southern Idaho. Also be sure to stick around to the end where I wanna show you guys a video clip of what it looks like driving in Southern Idaho. This was a drive I just did recently where I drove up to Moscow, Idaho, and I was coming back down to Boise. And I just wanna show you guys what that looks like. If you're thinking about moving to Idaho, great give me a call shoot me a text drop me an email i'd love to help chat with you help you explore more about what you might be wanting thank you guys for watching i hope this comparison was helpful and enjoy this clip